Now is the best time in U.S. history to be a craft beer lover. As a nation, the U.S. now has more beer styles over 150 and brands over 20,000 to choose from than any other market in the world. As of early 2018, more than 6,000 breweries are responsible for the beer brands available in the U.S. These breweries have had many successes and challenges, but they could not have developed their reputations as producers of the world's best beer without support from beer lovers. On May 16, 2015, Batavia hosted its very first craft beer festival called Beertavia. Felipe Altramari, director at the Genesee County Department of Planning, was one of the key people involved in what is now one of Batavia's biggest summer events. Well, one of the things we, we wanted to emphasize is in, beer, in Batavia, you know, we came up with Beer Tavia, but the thing is we wanted to say is that all the stuff that's made into this thing, you know, our beer, is grown around here, you know? So we have our hops, we have our, our grains, like our malt, and uh, even the... Um, Batavia, uh, you know, its own uh, New York craft mall is uh, made a lot of the beers that are in here. So, you know, one of the things I wanted to say, you know, is the product, you know, it's all grown. All the ingredients that are um, for this beer are made here. So we wanted to show that to everyone uh, and wanted to uh, make sure that everybody knew that Batavia, you know, between Buffalo and Rochester, you know, the ingredients in here uh, come from Batavia. Wow. So so, you know, all locally sourced New York ingredients. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can't beat that. You know, when you're drinking something like this and you, you, you know you know that it comes from the soil you step on, that's, you know, you can't beat that. You know, and you, bring, you drink a Bud or you drink a Miller Lite, who knows where all that stuff comes from. You know the stuff in here comes from somewhere where you, you know, grew and you sent your kids to or whatever. The range of breweries participating in this year's event has broadened. Lesser known breweries like Big Ditch, Community Beer Works, and Resurgence join the larger and more established breweries like Buffalo Brewing, Rohrbach, and even Genesee Brewery. When you buy beer from a craft brewery, you're also supporting small business. Small and independent breweries don't have deep pockets or lobbyists in every state capital, and that's why beer festivals, such as Beer Tavia, play a big role in defending craft beer by gaining notoriety to help support the local brewery network. So what's your name? What's the name of your brewery? So we got Blue Toad Heart Cider right out of Rochester, New York. We got two ciders today. We got our Flower City Blonde, a nice light champagne-like cider, crisp, beautiful for the summertime. And we got our raspberry cider, beautiful raspberry flavoring, not too sweet, not too dry. How long have you guys been doing this? We've been doing this since 2015. Wow, good, good. How, so, how many, uh, how many, uh, I guess, ciders do you guys make? Are these the only two or do you guys So, make? at any point in time, we have anywhere from six to ten ciders on the market. Throughout the year, we probably do around 30 different ciders. What's the name of your brewery? Empire Brewing Company, based out of Syracuse, New York, and Casanova, New York. Oh, man, how, how long have you guys been around? Uh, started in 1994 in a group up downtown Syracuse, Army Square. Just built a brand new farm brewery in Casanova, New York. Largest farm brewery in the Northeast. Wow, wow. So how many guys, how many brew, beers do you guys produce right now? We brew about uh, 30 to 40 different beers every year. Uh, we have about six mainstream that we do, and a ton of different seasonals as well. That's awesome. Now, do you guys uh, get your ingredients locally, or do you guys... Uh... Yes, we actually, our owner, David Katlaski, started the New York State Brew Association back in 2003. And he actually is the one who lobbied for the New York, for the New York State Farm Brewery license in 2008. Came into fruition around 2020, 2012. So uh, we are right now currently sourcing 40% of all our ingredients from New York State, which we're going to do more as the years go by. For uh, Rogers Brewery, my name is Jason Boma. Awesome. How long have you guys been around? We've been in business for about four years now. Awesome, awesome. You're located in Leroy? Yep, we're located in Leroy out of the Smoking Eagle Barbecue and Brew. I love Smoking Eagle, by the way. It's good times. We're actually, uh, right now, we're at, all our beers are in all the Wegmans in Rochester. 19 Wegmans in Rochester. Oh, great. Yep. Now, do you guys use local ingredients? Do you guys get it from all over the place? Nope, we do uh, bring in local ingredients because we're a farm brewer. Uh, we actually uh, brew our beer through custom brew crackers. So where is Swiftwater Brewery? Swiftwater is in Rochester uh, on the 
Tennessee River in the Southwest neighborhood. Oh, how long have you guys been around? Uh, four years. Awesome, oh, awesome. Yeah. How many beers do you guys currently produce? Uh, Twelve beers on tap and rotating all the time. We get new beers every week. Yeah. It's almost all New York State ingredients. We're a farm brewery, so everything in-house we bring in uh, from food and the hops and the grain, everything is in-house. So we got Young Lion Brewed in the house. We got a can of bagel, baby. That's what, so how long have you guys been doing this? About a year and a month. Man, yeah, that's awesome. That's it. How many beers you guys got going on so far? We have over, so far that we've brewed, over 30. That's awesome. But in the public market, we got about eight that are in chance and that move around. Carbs, 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 baby. <laughs> so talk about bread. We use a locally sourced bakery called Amazing Grains at a fair port. And what they do, they take our spent grain from our Pilsner and they make a Bavarian style pretzel with it that we actually sell in our tap room. Oh that wow! Fluffy, golden, delicious. The Eli Fish Brewing Company is the first commercial brewery in Batavia in nearly 100 years. The last time a commercial brewery operated in Batavia, Woodrow Wilson was still president. Eli Fish Brewing opened its doors on March 24, 2018. They are one of the organizers and sponsors of this year's Beer Tavia. The story of Eli Fish is well documented. Eli Fish owned and operated a malt house on Main Street in Batavia in the 1800s. His malt house burned down four times and he rebuilt each time. Bringing back his legacy was very important to the owners of Eli Fish Brewing. Eli Fish realizes that having quality cuisine to pair with their craft beer is extremely important not only to the customer, but to the community. It also helps to create a more diverse dining scene and nightlife. The plan is to keep a large portion of those dollars in Genesee County. Eli Fish is like one of the first breweries that we've had in here. It is actually technically the first brewery we've had here since Prohibition. In Pro, uh, during Prohibition, every neighborhood had a, its own local um, brewery and made their own local beer. And Prohibition kind of smashed that, you know. Uh, when beer came back, only the big guys knew how to make beer. So that's all kind of come back now. And um, one of the things that um, New York State has done is given incentives for local ingredients to go into beer. Um, and that really has spurred the, the really the, the rebirth of the brewing industry in our, in our county and in their state. And right now, we're actually, a lot of people think, you know, there's too many breweries to go around. Uh, but actually, there's still less breweries to this day than there were at the time of Prohibition. So what we want to see is every neighborhood have its own locally sourced uh, brew and beer to drink. And you can go down to your neighborhood bar and drink stuff that's been made right in your town. And, and just, you know, that's, that's really where it's at. You know, bring the money and the local economy back to itself and uh, help grow the local economy and entrepreneurship in our, in our community. Their menu focuses on locally sourced ingredients, healthy options, and more ethnic cuisines. They offer a selection of house brews along with other New York State produced beers, spirits, and wines. Trying to define craft beer is a difficult task as beer can be very subjective and a personal experience. I believe the song that's been referenced in Cats and Voigt's Beer and Bread sums it up best. Let the heart of the gackle vat be our heart. What makes your heart feel wonderful makes our heart feel wonderful. Our liver is happy. Our heart is joyful. You poured a libation over the brick of density. You placed the foundations in peace and prosperity. Many Ninkasi live together with you. Let her pour for you beer and wine. Let the pouring of the sweet liquor resound pleasantly for you. In the reed buckets, there is sweet beer. I will make cupbearers, boys, and brewers stand by while I turn around the abundance of beer. While I feel wonderful, I feel wonderful. Drinking beer in a blissful mood. Drinking liquor, 
feeling exhilarated with joy in the heart and a happy liver. While my heart full of joy and my happy liver, I covered with a garment fit for a queen. <laughs>